Many high school seniors have made their college choice. Now they're worried about the cost. With student debt rising past $1.7 trillion, there is another way to pay. That's scholarships and grants. As Sharon Epperson reports, it's not too late to get free money for college. For high school senior Alexis Simon, getting free money through government grants and academic scholarships made her college choice pretty clear. I will be attending St. John's University in the fall as a communication arts major. The total cost of attendance for her first year, over $65,000. Out of all of the schools that I've applied to, they gave me half. Because this just does not work. You see? No. Now she and her parents are trying to figure out how they'll pay for the rest. If they did not get the scholarship or grant money that they thought, what should they do? Well, they should work directly with the school, contact the admission and financial aid office to have that conversation. Rob Franick, editor of the Princeton Review, a company that helps guide students through the college process, says after federal grants and other aid, schools may still offer the most financial help. It's not because those schools are flush with dollars. Given our global pandemic times, they have to remain attractive not only academically, but also financially. Also tap other sources. Ask your high school counselor. Use your network, friends, and family. Their employers may offer scholarships and do an online search. I miss proof of this spot right here. Arizona State University sophomore George Montano started his scholarship search after taking an online personal finance course as a high school sophomore. There was no way that I would receive funding from my parents. Financial help would have to come from elsewhere. A first-generation college student, so far the mechanical engineering major has received grants and scholarships to cover the total cost of tuition, room, and board. I recommend to apply to anything and everything. You'd be surprised what you can get. I should have started looking for scholarships earlier. I really didn't realize how difficult it will truly be. More determined than ever, Alexis Simon has ramped up her search. I've applied to about 20 to 30 scholarships. I don't know what the money is looking like, but I'm definitely never, ever, ever going to give up. Now, some scholarship deadlines have passed, but there's more aid out there for students who are looking. Some funders have even increased their spending and are awarding emergency grants to students who've been hard hit by the pandemic. ASU student George Montano had to move to new housing during the COVID crisis. He said in getting aid, he found it helpful to explain his financial situation. His advice, always be as transparent as possible to potential funders. Becky? This is really interesting information and, and news you can use, Sharon. But, you know, most students have already committed to a school. Does that mean that it's over for them, that it's too late for them to do anything in terms of getting more scholarship money from their chosen school? Well, it's certainly not over. Our experts say because you've shown a commitment to that school, it could actually benefit you in the follow-up conversations that you have with financial aid office regarding award money. A lot of scholarship deadlines also go beyond that May 1st decision day deadline, so it's important to keep an eye out for other scholarship opportunities that may even pop up in the late spring, even into the summer. So keep your eyes open and keep in contact with that financial aid office.